Welcome to the Texas Department of Transportation's pre-recorded virtual public involvement presentation. We appreciate your interest in the project and welcome each of you. Please note that you may pause this presentation at any point to allow more time to view the slides. And you may also pause the presentation and navigate forward or backward as needed. In this presentation, we will cover the public involvement purpose, project overview, environmental, and right-of-way considerations. This is followed by an explanation of how to provide comments for the proposed project and adjournment. My name is Ricardo Gonzalez, and I serve as the Director of Transportation, Planning, and Development for the Fort Worth District of the Texas Department of Transportation, better known as TxDOT. Your input on the proposed improvements is valuable and will help benefit the community and shape the final project recommendations. The virtual public materials and project information can be found on www.txdot.gov by typing the project keyword in the search box in the upper right-hand corner. After the project information is presented, we would appreciate your feedback. November 7, 2000 was the last deathless day on roadways in Texas. That means for over two decades, at least one person has died every single day. We all have a part to play to change that. This message is that reminder to end the streak of deaths on Texas highways. We need drivers and passengers to act more responsibly and help us reach our goal of zero deaths by 2050. Texas can play a major role in ending fatal crashes with a few simple driving habits. Wear seat belts, drive the speed limit, put away the phone and other distractions never drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So please do your part and share this message with your friends and family. Public meeting displays can be viewed in person at the TxDOT Fort Worth District Office and the TxDOT Stephenville Area Office from Tuesday, September 19th through Wednesday, October 4th. In-person viewing will be by appointment only. Please call 817-370-6559 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday to make an appointment and receive more detailed instructions. Today's presentation will cover the purpose of this public meeting, project goals, project overview, a summary and analysis of proposed design alternatives, environmental considerations, right-of-way information, the anticipated schedule, and how to provide comments. The purpose of this meeting is to present a project update, inform the public of project design, and offer the public an opportunity to provide input. The project goals are to enhance safety and improve mobility for local and through traffic and to expand upon recent upgrades and expansions of adjacent segments of US 67. Increases in traffic have led to an increased frequency of crashes along the roadway and decreased mobility for local and through traffic. In 2022, there was an average of over 14,000 vehicles traveling on this segment of US 67 each day. Of that traffic, around 13% were trucks. Traffic volumes are expected to increase by 40% over the next 20 years, resulting in almost 20,000 vehicles each day. This project extends 3.6 miles along US 67 from SH 144 to the Brazos River in Glen Rose and Rainbow in Somerville County. US 67 serves as a freight corridor as part of the Texas Highway Freight Network, connecting people and goods through the North Texas Hill Country. The existing US-67 is a two-lane, undivided roadway with one lane in each direction and passing lanes. TxDOT is proposing to widen the roadway to a four-lane divided highway with acceleration and deceleration lanes, 12-foot outside shoulders and 4-foot inside shoulders, and dedicated left turn lanes at intersections. Considering the project goals and environmental constraints within the project area, TxDOT has identified four build alternatives for the proposed improvements. The no-build alternative does not meet the project goals of improving safety and mobility, but will be considered as this project moves forward as a baseline for comparison. A north-widening alternative considers expanding the roadway to the north. A central alternative considers widening in both directions. A south-widening alternative considers expanding the roadway to the south. And a composite-widening alternative considers varying to either side of US 67. The four alternatives, along with the no-build option, were compared in an evaluation matrix using engineering and environmental evaluation criteria, including how well the alignment met project goals, outcomes of preliminary traffic analysis, and roadway design considerations. The matrix also considered potential impacts to residential and commercial structures, community resources, natural resources, cultural resources, 
air quality, traffic noise, hazardous materials, and utilities. As this project is developed, TxDOT is evaluating potential impacts to the environment and preparing environmental documents in accordance with the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. Those evaluations include the study of property impacts and easements, community impacts and environmental justice, biological resources such as vegetation, threatened and endangered species and habitats, construction impacts, water resources and drainage, cultural resources, hazardous materials, traffic noise, and air quality. As part of the environmental process, TxDOT will coordinate with several environmental agencies on the state and federal level to ensure the project design meets all applicable regulations. These agencies include the Texas Historical Society, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, and the United States Army Corps of Engineers. The environmental review, consultation, and other actions required by applicable federal environmental laws for this project are being or have been carried out by TxDOT pursuant to 23 United States Code 327 and a Memorandum of Understanding dated December 9, 2019 and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and TxDOT. Details of environmental constraints within the project area are included on the environmental constraints map shown on this page and linked on the public meeting webpage. The Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Act of 1970 is a law that was designed to ensure that anyone who owned property needed for a public purpose would be treated fairly. The law establishes guidelines for the acquisition of property and the relocation of displaced individuals and businesses. It is the policy of TxDOT that individuals impacted by transportation systems expansions shall not be denied benefits, excluded from participation, or otherwise be subjected to discrimination based on the grounds of race, color, sex, age, handicaps, or natural origin. Each impacted property owner is offered just compensation for the property needed for the project. To arrive at this value, independent appraisers are hired to prepare detailed appraisals and establish value. A written offer to the property owners is made based on the value determined in the appraisals. Property owners are given a minimum of 30 days to consider the offer. For more information, right-of-way brochures are available on the TxDOT website. Following this public meeting, TxDOT will prepare public meeting documentation and will use public input in conjunction with the design and environmental considerations to identify a preferred alternative. TxDOT will continue to refine the design and schematic approval is anticipated in fall 2024. TxDOT is tentatively scheduled to hold a public hearing in fall 2024 to present updated design plans and receive input from the public. Prior to construction, TxDOT will complete right-of-way acquisition, detailed design, and utility adjustments. Construction is anticipated to begin in 2028. This project timeline is subject to change. Following the public meeting, TxDOT will proceed with the preparation of public meeting documentation. Your comments will be addressed in this document and given full consideration in the preparation of the final recommendation and design for this project. To provide comments, you may email a comment to joy.carter at text.gov or fill out a comment card in person or mail to the Texas Department of Transportation at the address information provided. While comments are always welcome, they must be received or postmarked by Wednesday, October 4, 2023 to be included in the official meeting documentation. The public may call project staff at 817-370-6559 during regular office hours or email project staff at any time in the project development process. Thank you for your interest in the US 67 Widening Project. We appreciate your participation.